Hello everyone and welcome back to my class. You know that I am Halim Nisa, teacher and junior lecturer of Alibad High School and Junior College. So in today's class we are discussing and continue our lesson that is 8th chapter from economics first year. And chapter name is Theories of Employment and Public Finance. So in previous class already we have discussed up to the theories of employment and income. Now in today's class we will continue this lesson from the topic public finance. So here the concept of the public finance. In this here the public finance deal with the income and expenditure of the public authorities and here the word public is used to denote the state or government here the central or state or the local bodies so here the public finance studies the objectives methods and the effects of rising and the spending money by the government in order to fulfill its obligation towards the society in transforming the society from the police state to the welfare state exactly so here the modern government play a major role in creating economic and the social infrastructure so they spend a lot of money on the construction of roads railways and on creating the communication system and on education and health and on providing the irrigation facilities and electricity etc are they so of a late modern government here have been spending the huge amount of the various welfare measures to the difficulties of poor and the sections of their population so here after this concept now we will see the components of the public finance here so here in components of a public finance first we will go with the public revenue so in this a modern government has the many functions to perform it needs the huge revenue for the performance of all its functions efficiently exactly so it collect the revenue by imposing the taxes and also receiving the money from the people in many other forms so here the revenue received by the government from the different sources is called public revenue here the public revenue is broadly classified into two kinds that is tax revenue and non tax revenue in tax revenue here the revenue received through the collections of the taxes from the public tax is called the tax revenue here both the central and the state government collect the taxes as per their allocation in the constitution here the again here broadly taxes divided into two categories that is direct tax and indirect taxes so first we will discuss about the direct tax so in direct tax here the taxes imposed on the individuals and the companies based on income and expenditure for example here the personal income tax and the cooperative tax and the interest tax and the expenditure tax etc are there and here the taxes imposed on property and capital assets of an individual and the companies for example here yeah, health tax and the gift tax and the state tax etc are there so here all these are the direct taxes now we will see about the indirect taxes here the taxes levied on a goods and services example the excise duty custom duty and the service taxes and like service taxes and they are like gst cgst central gst and sgst state gst and igst here interstate gst after that now we will see the non tax revenue here in this the government also receive the revenue from the sources other than the taxes and such revenue is called the non tax revenue so here the sources of the non tax revenue are as like administrative revenue commercial revenue loans and advances grants in aid public expenditure and public debt so in public debate there are the types of the public debate on the basis of the sources here the public debate is again classified into the two categories and they are internal debate and external debate so after this further it sustain the public confidence in the government's credit worthiness here the internal debate can be repaid in the domestic currency but foreign exchange is necessary to repay the external debate the methods of the implemented for the redemption of the public debate are surplus budgets refunding conversion additional taxation capital levy surplus in balance of trade so here after that now we will see about the central state financial relations federal finance and the finance commission 
in this first we will go with the center state financial relations so here the financial relationship between the center and the state is provided in the constitution so here the constitutions give a detailed scheme of the distribution of the financial resources between the union and the states here union means center only the constitution make a broad distinction between the powers to levy the taxes and the powers to appropriate the proceed of a tax so here the legislature which levies a taxes is not necessary the authority which return the proceed of the taxes levied exactly so here the constitution grants the union parliament exclusive powers to levy the taxes on a several items here the state legislature enjoy the similar powers with regard to the several other specified items and here the union parliament levies the taxes on items mentioned in the union list and while the state legislature levies the taxes on the items mentioned in the state list exactly so here the exclusive powers of the union government so here we will see the subject on whom the union government has the exclusive powers to levy the taxes and that are customs duty corporation taxes capital gains surcharge on income tax and railway fees etc are there after this the exclusive powers of the state governments so here the state exclusive powers to tax include and that are land revenue stamp duty trade duty inter tax sale tax tax on vehicles and luxuries etc are they provided to the village panchayats and the municipalities then according to the article 360 here during the proclamation of the financial emergency here the president can give the financial directives to the states so here the union government supplements the financial resources to the states by the two other means besides distribution of taxes revenue here and they are the advancement of the central loans and here the grant in aids given to the states so after that now we will see about the federal finance here in federal finance here the means the finance to the central government and as well as the state government also and the relationship between the two here in a federal system of finance all the items of the revenue and expenditure are divided among the central state and local governments so here all the three forms of the government are free to make the expenditure on their respective heads and to get the revenue from their respective sources exactly so here after the federal finance now we will see about the evolutions and provisions of federal finance system so here in this evolution of the federal finance system in india can be traced on the government of india act in 1935 so here this act was based on the general principles of finance independence of the provisions so here the independence for the provinces so here the independent india acts at the basic principles of federal finance to achieve the following provisions are like financially strong center efficient allocation of functions and financial powers provision for resource transfer and flexibility in the resource transfer after this now finance commission here in finance commission of india here come to existence in 1951 and it was established under the article 280 of the indian constitution by the president of india only exactly so here it was formed to define the financial relations between the state and the center so as per the constitution here the commission is appointed for every 5 year consists of a chairman secretary and four other members are there so till date here the 15th finance commission has been appointed and here the 14th finance commission had submitted their reports now we will see the major functions of the finance commission here so in this the functions of the finance commission can be stated as that the distribution of a net proceeds of taxes between the center and the states to be divided as per their respective contribution or to the taxes and here the determined factors governing grant in aids to the states and the magnitude of the same here and to make the recommendations to president to the measures needed to the consolidated fund of a state to supplement the resources of panchayats and to municipalities in the state on the basis of the recommendations made by the finance commission here so exactly now budget 
here in budget the concept of budget is that budget is an annual statement showing the estimated receipts that is revenue and the expenditure of a government for a financial year that is from april to march so here every budget receives three sets of the figure and they are first one is that the actual figures for proceeding year then second one is that the budget and received figures for the current year and third one is that the budget estimates for the following year and the government presented to the legislature an annual budget every year for its approval so here the budget is presented by the finance minister exactly and the government cannot incur any expenditure unless it has a prior approval of the legislature so here sometimes a vote on a con budget is presented by the government when it is not possible to present the full budget so it is an interim budget for a few months so this will facilitate the government to incur the expenditure pending approval for the regular budget get it here now the components of budget here the budget consists of both receipts that is income and the expenditure of the government here the budget of the government of india consists of two main components and they are budget receipts and budget expenditure after this components of budget now we will see the types of budget here there are three types of budget based on the difference between the receipts and the expenditure and they are surplus budget deficit budget and balanced budget first we will see the budget deficits here the budget deficit arises when the total expenditure in the budget exceeds the total receipts that is income so here technically there are four types of the deficits with the reference of a budget and they are revenue deficit budget deficit then primary deficit fiscal deficit so by this budget and its deficits we have completed our chapter 8 that is theories of employment and public finance thank you